Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. So Gorilla then begins to bemoan the lack of girl wrestlers. <laughs> yeah. He's like really quiet about it. He goes, you know, we don't see a lot of girl wrestlers anymore. It seems they just work all around the world. <laughs> like, <laughs> what's happening? Well, that seems to contradict itself, doesn't it? This, this is the fucking main event, and you're lamenting that we don't have any women wrestlers anymore? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we get to see the ladies tag team champions, Leilani Kai and Judy Martin. And I was hoping, you know, Sean just mentioned he's watching uh, Queen of Villains. I was hoping this would be a Jumping Bomb Angels match. Brother, mm -hmm. fuck it. This was the best match on the show. By light years. Yeah. By miles and miles and miles. These women outworked probably half of the women in wrestling today. I mean, this was a flat out, really good athletic. Yeah. And the fucking fans were going nuts for this match. And it wasn't it wasn't crowd sweetening like we've no. seen earlier because they you know when when the crowd actually is really excited they will zoom the hard cam out so you can see people fucking jumping up and down and going yeah. nuts they were going fucking crazy for this match they had a heat segment uh -huh. they did a great job building the hot tag they had they had fucking power bomb in this match there was a, pow uh, a power and bomb on primetime wrestling in 1987 we saw a power bomb lucha oh, spots like spinning body presses and body scissors and a tilt a world backbreaker in 1987 so this is all action it's all great there was a moment in this match that made me absolutely loathe this entire program oh and it was so these girls are out there just kicking ass they're running up and down, hitting the ropes, doing fantastic moves. As you mentioned, Lucha, power bombs, outworking every single one of these other guys that are wrestling before them. And Lord Alfred Hayes, who's watching this match in commentary, oh, yeah. says, he notes that one of the wrestlers has put on a little weight. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. Well, I think it was Leilani Kai. He goes, yeah. she's put on a little weight. Yeah. You fucking dick. Yeah. It, yeah. That is atrocious. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're yeah. watching this match, and that's what you're thinking of. Yeah. That's that's fair. And then before yeah. the match even started, I mean, it wasn't like a it wasn't like a, a mean thing or anything, but you know, uh, I think Gorilla mentioned something about how uh, you know these these women we're going to see they're really tough, and Heenan goes tougher than most of the men, and I think it was supposed to be like he was it was a joke or something like that, <laughs> but then I watched his match and I was like, Bobby's right, they are tougher than every man on this entire show actually. Yes, yeah. actually, yeah, yeah. So. Uh... They do still do the mid-match break to go back to the studio. When Gorilla chews Bobby out for taking calls on the air. And then as Bobby is insisting that Gorilla's footage will not air, a voice cries in, cries in from the heavens. Tapes ready, Gorilla. <laughs> Gorilla says, thank you. And so Angie gets her hot tag, makes a beautiful monkey flip, as the announcers call it. And uh, of monkey flips goes pretty beautiful. It was. And she's cut off with a hair pull, so Velvet McIntyre gets back in the ring, and she's running wild again with the... For some reason, 1980s women pro wrestlers did the body slam where you start with a suplex. Oh, yeah, all and, the time. Yeah, That's I, how they were taught to do it. I, yeah, I presume I, I they were all taught that way the exact by same way by Moolah. Moolah yeah. 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 Hmm. But, I mean, people don't do that anymore. It's kind of cool. Yeah. But so, do something different. I, I yeah. liked how, you know, they're, they're um, I don't mean this in a derogatory way. This is just a fact. They're women, and in the 80s, if you were a woman in wrestling, you had to do all of the same spots. Hair mares, like one hair mare after another. The one where you run at each other and you both grab your hair and spin yep. around. So, like, they're doing all the women's spots, but they're also doing, like, big fucking moves. Yeah. Like a big power bomb there at the end and the slams everywhere. Although they did do the, the women's slams, which are still, I, I, it's just weird. But it's not like it's a bad body slam. It's just a weird way to do it. Yeah. But uh, Velvet is the illegal woman, so the rest putting her out of the ring. This lets Judy Martin grab Angie, hits with a big Kevin Nash powerbomb, lifts her high in the sky. On a shitty fucking ring. Yeah. Hard as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looked like, uh, it looked like Eddie Guerrero hitting the uh No, canvas. it didn't. No, it did. It looked so bad. He hit. She hit so hard. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you remember that Chris Benoit, Eddie Guerrero powerbomb. I, I, I do. Nothing compares to that powerbomb that I have ever seen. I was being overly That was insane. Yeah. So uh, Leilani makes the cover and gets the win. And we should note, by the way, best wishes and a speedy recovery to Leilani Kai as well. Just had full hip replacement surgery. Ooh. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So hope she gets better soon. She was probably out that afternoon. 
She's probably doing a 5K tomorrow. Uh, I'd like to think so, but no. Yeah. Uh, sadly, I may start drinking and smoking after this story. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't realize what you could do nowadays. So there you go. That was the only good match in the show. And we go. Finally, we get Gorilla plugging his. That footage. might have been the only good match on any show we've ever watched. It wasn't from Saturday Night's main event put on primetime wrestling. It is a short list. I mean, is there a better match that we have seen than this one on primetime wrestling? That wasn't like taken from another. There were maybe the Hogan Bunny match. That was from Saturday Night's main event. Oh, was it? All right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's there's a single. Everything else that was good was also short. We've seen like good three or four minute matches. This is a good, lengthy, time to develop, yeah. 12-ish minute match. Yeah, This would have been the second best match at WrestleMania. And it wouldn't even have been close. Uh... There's Steamboat Savage and nothing else. So this would have been the second best match at WrestleMania 3 if they would have done it. I might have done that, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Bobby's insisting that he will get King Kong buddy footage aired instead of Gorilla's training footage. And then we finally, finally see Gorilla's footage. This is the payoff to literally a week-long storyline. What are we here? Gorilla's in the woods. He's holding a bunch of bananas. He complains this is the only food food he has provided him with, but still eats them. Yeah, well, Bobby goes, you know, I wanted you to feel at home because he's Gorilla Monsoon. Yeah. So he got him, like, 10 bananas. Yeah. And, yeah, Gorilla complains about it, and then he eats all 10 bananas. He did. Mm-hmm. He did. But there's a point to it. There is a point. There's a, I suppose there's a payoff in the end. Yes. So then, so help me God, Gorilla and Bobby do the Blair Witch Project. <laughs> They're walking through the woods. They're lost. They think they saw a building. It's not where they thought they saw it. Gorilla claims they've been walking for two and a half hours now. They walk through the woods. They recognize some trees. Then we get to your payoff, Brian. Gorilla can prove they have been walking in circles because he left a marker. He picks up a banana peel. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I am so upset that Bobby didn't slip on one before right. the end. He what did not, were they fucking thinking? He did not slip on a banana peel, but he didn't point to a stump yes. and say, that's a tree Andre the Giant chopped down with his bare hands. And they tripped up. And immediately tripped over the same stump that he just pointed out. Yes. That happened. But Gorilla accuses Brain of wasting his time, wasting his money, hiding Andre's training from him, and he just walks away. Even though they're still lost in the woods, I guess he knows one direction. Well, I mean, the story, I can't believe I'm even explaining this. The story is that Bobby did take him to the training facility once. Yeah. Gorilla thought he saw a weakness. There are two weaknesses in Andre's game. One is that Bobby Heenan is his manager. The other is something technical. And he thinks he saw it, but he's not sure. Mm-hmm. So he wants to go back and check it out again and film it this time. Right. But Bobby doesn't want him to. But Bobby does want to know what the weakness is, but he doesn't want him to go film it. So Bobby took him to the woods, and they got lost together. That was the payoff. What could they possibly do next week? Are we really going to watch that show? One more miserable week to go. God. Next week is just them in the woods still, introducing matches. That would be awesome, actually. <laughs> yeah, what if they could, what if, what if they could like, yeah, wander through the woods, and then, like, the matches, there'd be, like, a TV on a tree. You know that TV comes up every time? It's like, comes out of a tree, and they watch some shitty match. And then walk through the woods again. Everything we're coming up with here is better, I bet you anything, than what we see on next week's show. There, yeah. Next week, by the way, is the go-home show for WrestleMania three. And by the way, the next night, there will be no WrestleMania three matches. Or or news no. or anything. No, because right. we checked ahead. News traveled so slow that they'll still be plugging WrestleMania three. Well, it's not quite that. Because I, I did go ahead and check what happens on that show. The the night after WrestleMania 3, Gorilla Monsoon opens primetime wrestling and says, yes, it's the night of, after Mania 3. But we have taped the show before Mania 3. So even though it's after the show, we don't know what happened. That's what he claims. Wow. And then not to mention, they usually, they usually kept a lot of things close to the vest because they sold the replay on Tuesday after the Sunday airing. So they really didn't say anything even... In the '90s, for on Raw. Well, we'll watch it. What the hell? Get her done. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button, and you'll never miss a video again.